Hey guys, welcome to Trail and Kale. I'm Helen, and in this video, I'm reviewing the Topo Athletic Pursuit 2 trail running shoes. That's these guys right here. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to these trail running shoes, taking a look at the key features what type of trail running they're designed for, what kind of trail runner they're best suited to, and ultimately how they perform on the trails. I'm out here on one of our regular testing routes here in Northern California. We've got some, we've basically got everything on this route. We've got some ups, some downs, some steeps, some mellow trails. Um, we've got some of this sort of forest trail that you can see here behind me, um, steep climbs like this one over here, um, as well as some fire roads, which are kind of flat gravel sections. And we've got a bit of pavement that I had to get on for about a kilometer or so to get to the trailhead here. So these shoes are being tested on a whole range of terrains here, a whole range of textures underfoot, and we're going to see how they perform and ultimately whether I think they're worth the $140 price tag, which incidentally is a very reasonable price for a pair of trail running shoes. So let's see how they stand up. If you're not familiar with Trail and Kale yet, we're a website that helps you run your best at trailandkale.com. Whether that's with our running shoe reviews and gear reviews like this one, free training plans or running advice, head over to trailandkale.com to learn more and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. So taking a look at some of the key features of these Topo Pursuit 2 trail running shoes. First off, they're zero drop trail running shoes. So they're differentiated from other shoes that might have a drop from heel to toe, typically in the region of five to eight millimeters for trail running shoes. These have zero drop, so there's no differential between the toe and the heel height. Your feet are gonna feel much closer to the ground. And the intention of that is that you're running with what's more like a natural kind of running style, as if you were running barefoot. But of course you're not barefoot, you've got all the protection and level of cushioning in these medium cushioned running shoes to protect you while you're out here on the trails. I don't know about you, but I certainly would not want to be running on these trails barefoot. Let's take a quick close up look at some of those key features and how these shoes look. Starting with the upper then, we have a breathable mesh here. It is pretty breathable so far, um, about 10 minutes into this run now. Um, I'll let you know later in this review how it stands up to a performance, particularly once I get out of the forest and into the midday sun. Um, Laces, very nice laces that have stayed done up. Um, I always double knot my laces on trail running shoes because they do tend to work their way undone, but um, the, sometimes the double knot comes undone. I haven't had that issue so far. We'll see how they do on that as well. Nicely padded tongue, so I can't feel the laces at all here. Um, padding all around here. Interestingly, the heel counter, unlike some other trail shoes and road shoes, it's been very popular for designers to have them have it kick out at the back here, is not doing that, um, but it does have a good amount of padding. Um, works well with my socks here. You can sort of see the, the zero drop nature of the shoes. It kind of makes it look like there is a bit of a drop just because of the color. This blue section is also the same sort of midsole as the white section here. Um, plenty of response in there. Taking a look at the toe then, we have some protection. This is pretty firm here. Um, we've also got the outsole and some lugs wrapping up over the toe, which is very helpful for running um, or climbing, even hiking up steep hills. A quick look at the outsole then. I'll overlay a picture for a better close-up. Um, some pretty deep lugs here. This is a Vibram Mega Grip outsole, which is becoming very popular among trail running brands. More and more brands picking up Vibram now uh, Mega Grip for their trail running shoes. It is pretty unparalleled when it comes to grip on technical terrain. Um, these lugs on the Pursuit 2 are six millimeter deep. They're pretty aggressive, um, designed for technical terrain. So um, there's plenty of technical terrain on this route and we're gonna see how the lugs stand up to that in a moment. Rounding off the key stats for these trail running shoes, um, they're obviously neutral, no stability or additional kind of support for pronation. Pretty typical for trail running shoes. You don't really see that very often. Um, these shoes in my size, which is a woman's US 7.5, weigh 8.8 .8 ounces, which is a pretty decent weight for a, a trail running shoe with this level of cushioning, kind of medium cushioning. Um, it's not super, super light, but it's certainly not heavy. So kind of in the sweet spot there in the middle, what you'd normally expect from a pair of trail running shoes designed for technical terrain. Let's get moving on these trails and see how they perform and get me away from all these mosquitoes. Okay guys, that's one of several hills on this route. Conquered. Always gets me a little bit out of breath. While I'm catching my breath, let's have a quick look at the toe box on the Pursuit 2. Now you may have noticed when I showed you these 
in a previous clip how unpointed the toe box is. This is typical of a zero drop running shoe and why that is, is not necessarily because you have wide feet, but because Topo wants you to have room in the toe of your shoe for your toes to display naturally, as if you were running barefoot. I have pretty regular width feet and I feel like my toes can display naturally and I've got a bit of extra wiggle room in there as well. That's particularly nice on a hot day when you're trail running and your feet are starting to get sweaty. While there is some breathability in these shoes, having the extra space in the toe box really makes quite a big difference to how comfortable your feet are. Um, so that's something I really appreciate and I think you will too. If you have wider feet and you struggle to find toe boxes in running shoes, certain brands toe box can come up kind of narrow. I'm looking at you Salomon, although they have got a lot better in recent years. These shoes are going to be pretty well suited to you as well. You've got a really snug fit in the midfoot but you have space for your toes to display or just to be natural quite frankly if your toes are kind of more wider than normal um, you've got a bit more room in there for them so these are definitely worth checking out and if you're not familiar with Topo Athletic they're a relatively new running shoe brand they have been around about 10 years and they're really specializing in these kind of wider toe box lower drop kind of more natural foot shape running shoes um, which are also great for walking in many cases as well hiking in the case of trail running shoes these shoes are pretty well designed so that you could take them hiking as well if you're looking for like a lightweight trail runner for hiking and you don't want a big stack height or a really chunky shoe in terms of sizing and fit in general then, um, these shoes fit true to size. So go with your usual size that you normally are in a pair of running shoes. I don't suggest you size up or down in these. You'll have plenty of room in these shoes if you just choose your regular size and don't try and size up to give yourself extra room because usually that results in a sloppier fit. Um, you're going to be better off with a more true to size fit wearing your regular size. If you're enjoying this review, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Now, if you're not familiar with zero drop running shoes, you may be curious about what makes them so special. If you've got zero drop, you're gonna be encouraged to run in a more natural kind of typical running style, um, which may be very different to how you're used to running in your current running shoes. If you've been struggling with running injuries, many people find great success in wearing zero drop running shoes because it basically forces them to change their running form to a more natural style um, and that can really help you reduce the instances of running related overuse injuries and just injuries from not having optimal form. So it's definitely something to consider, although if you are going to change to zero drop running shoes, do take your time and build up the mileage um, because it's a bit of a transition for a lot of people and you don't want to get injured in the process. Okay guys, some notes on cushioning underfoot. These shoes have medium cushioning. They've also got that really chunky, vibrant mega grip outsole. It's providing some really good protection against these rocks underfoot. To the extent I can't really feel them, but because I don't have a high stack height, I've still got pretty good proprioception as I run over them. That makes these shoes really enjoyable to run in when you're going through rocky terrain and you need that protection underfoot. So continuing with the performance review of the Pursuit 2, um, I've already talked about the outsole and how grippy and chunky the lugs are on these shoes. Very suitable for technical terrain and that vibrant mega grip is kind of best in class there. So no issues there at all. Really happy with the outsole. Midsole is true to uh, description. It's a medium cushioning midsole. Um, gives you plenty of cushioning and protection for, I would run half marathon distances in these shoes easily. Um, I'd consider, I would do 30K, which is quite a popular trail running distance around here um, for races and potentially a trail marathon as well. Um, I prefer kind of having my feet closer to the ground than having lots of cushioning on my shoe. So pretty versatile trail running shoes here. In terms of the space in the toe box, um, it's probably more space than I need, to be honest. Um, I have pretty kind of regular width feet and they're splaying out pretty well. I stopped to tighten my shoelaces at the toe end of the shoe part way through this run um, after coming up the second hill here. <sighs> oh, mosquitoes. Um, just to stop the front of my foot kind of moving around inside the shoe. Um, I haven't had any issues since doing that. So I think I was probably just a bit um, enthusiastic keeping the laces as they came when they arrived out the box. The laces are doing a great job of holding my midfoot in place. Um, if you take a quick look here, you can see that. It's a pretty snug fit around here. So now that these laces are a bit tighter down here, um, my foot isn't moving around. I've still got plenty of space and this is held in place. Um, the laces arrived through this eyelet, so not this eyelet, which is kind of interesting and it's similar with other Topo shoes that I've received and reviewed on trailandcare.com. They come with this eyelet threaded, which is very different to other brands. I don't know why they're doing that, but it works well um, in this way with the laces. So I've left it 
like that. Colour options in these shoes are nice. It's probably like the lowest consideration when I'm choosing a pair of travelling shoes. Um, what colour do they come in? But you know, it is a consideration. I like the bright colours and conveniently enough I've chosen a pair that comes in the same colourway as the outfit I'm wearing today. Not intentional, but I like that it coordinates. What kind of runner are these shoes for? I'd say they're pretty versatile. Um, whether you're new to trail running or you're an existing someone who already loves trail running and you're looking for your next pair of shoes, whether you're a zero drop aficionado, perhaps you're really into ultra trail running shoes, which are also um, typically zero drop. These are kind of in the similar class to the ultras. Um, very well made. Really impressed with the quality of all the Topo athletic shoes I've reviewed so far on Trail and Kale. At a price point of $140, these are pretty incredible value for money. Um, when you compare them to the Ultra Tent 5, for example, which costs around $10 more, those are fantastic trail running shoes as well. Um, but for $10 less, you're getting something that's pretty similar and um, very enjoyable to run in. So definitely a contender there if you're looking at trail running shoes. You might want to come and check out the Topo Athletic Pursuit 2 if you're looking at the Ultra Temp or the Ultra Lone Peak. Um, or other shoes for the trails that have a relatively low drop and a wider space at the forefoot. Right, well that's about it for me and this Topo Athletic Pursuit 2 review. I'm going to finish this trail run off with some interesting downhills to wrap up the session. I'll let you know any additional thoughts after bombing down some of these downhills. Um, I expect them to perform admirably as they have done on the rest of this run so far. And if you have any questions about these shoes, drop me a comment below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to our channel for more running shoe reviews like this one. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.